Hey everybody, how's everybody doing? The holidays are finally here and I'm so excited. I decided to do a look that was sparkly, beautiful, sexy and eye-catching. Perfect for the holiday time. I hope that you all enjoy this tutorial. If you do, please click like and let's begin. Alright everyone, so as always I'm going to begin by applying my Lorac Primer Potion. Did I just say primer potion? I'm in my Lorac primer. Gosh, I'm so used to using my um, Urban Decay primer potion, but lately it hasn't been working out for me, so I've been having to use my Lorac. To start off, I'm going to be using my eyeliner in Prima Plum by MAC. This is from the Keepsakes Plum Eye Bag Collection. You basically get two beautiful eyeshadows, a mascara, and this beautiful um, eyeliner that we will be using as our base. So go ahead and apply this all over your lid, and you don't really want to go past the crease. Once you start blending it with your fingers or a brush, you can slightly blend it past the crease area. I will blend this out with my ring finger. I will reapply this eyeliner as close to the lash line as possible just to make this area a little bit darker and also you want to get any skin that shows through because once you apply your lashes you want that to be nice and dark. Now for my favorite part, I'll be taking my eyeshadow. This one's called Round Midnight, and I'll just be applying it with a medium fluffy brush. It's like fluffy brush, but it's also kind of like flat at the same time. So I love it because it helps blending. Look at how beautiful this color is. It's like a plum with like a maroon undertone. I just absolutely love this, and it's great for hazel eyes. I have green eyes. It really made them pop so nice and I just love it. So go ahead and just apply a generous amount and then blend it out as you start heading towards the crease. Now I'll be taking my eyeshadow in Faint. This is from the Urban Decay Basics palette. You can take any light or neutral tone and apply that right on the crease area. This will help bring all the colors together, blend it out really nicely, and you can make this as dramatic or as subtle as you like. You don't have to go as dramatic as I'm going. I like applying a generous amount and then blending it out. The important thing is that you don't over apply eyeshadow because a lot of times you, know, you find blending difficult. The reason for that is because you can apply too much at once. So as, as you can see, I'm working with what I have for quite a while before I grab some more. And you're also working with the plum color that we applied earlier. So you don't want to over apply until you're sure that you need more. So I'm going ahead and just blending it out, winging it out slightly at the um, corner and then bringing it in quite a bit in the inner part of my eyes just to really add some depth. And you're basically just combining these colors right where they meet and then being a little bit more light-handed as you keep heading upward towards the brow area. And the easiest thing also is to follow the shape of your eyebrow and that way it doesn't look awkward. So as you can see, I'm just using circular motions, windshield wiper-like motions, just to create a nicely blended look. Now I'm adding a little bit more right on the other corner just to create that nice cat eye effect at the same time, but you also wanna create more depth, so that's why I'm bringing it over to um, my inner eyebrow as well. All right, so it's been a couple of minutes, and as you can see, I'm just continuing on with my blending. I know it's very time consuming, but I feel that the overall look at the end is so worth it. And I'm actually taking some pictures um, with Santa today, so I have to make sure that I look my best and I have a well blended look because these pictures are gonna be in our family for many years to come. So I definitely wanted to put a little bit more of an effort with my blending. Using the same plum eyeliner, I'm applying this on my lower lash line just about halfway, making it a little bit darker on the outer corner. Then I'm taking the same plum eyeshadow and applying that right over it. This will also help it set and not smudge. Yep, that's my son in the background. You can actually see us every single day on Denise Makeup TV um, here on YouTube as well. We post videos every single day. So go ahead and just apply a generous amount and like I said before you can make this as subtle or as dramatic as you like. I like really applying a generous amount on the outer part of my eye and then that will make my eyes appear um, a lot bigger than they are. From the same duo I'm taking Triple Impact which is a beautiful iridescent uh, color. I'm applying it right on the inner one third of my eye and this just adds such a beautiful pop to the eyes and the camera 
does it no justice. This in person is absolutely beautiful. I haven't seen a nice shadow like this before. So I'm going to apply just a little bit right under the eyes as well to make it pop. Especially when the sun hits your eyes, it's just incredible. So now I'm taking my plum eyeshadow again with a small fluffy brush and I'm just applying more. I just felt like I needed a more dramatic effect. So I am applying a generous amount but you can skip this step if you don't want such a dramatic look. On my waterline I'm applying a purple eyeliner by Urban Decay and I just took the brightest purple I could find and I'm applying this right on my waterline. I am applying a generous amount. I just love the purple. It's just driving me crazy lately. I just love it so much. So go ahead and get in between the lashes so that when you apply your mascara and your lashes, um, everything looks good. From the same collection, I'm taking my mascara and I'm applying just a couple of coats so that my false lashes kind of get lost with my real lashes and it's just magical. <laughs> that sounded funny, I don't know. I love this mascara, I had never tried it before and I, and I highly recommend it. I mean the first application wasn't as easy because you know it's a new wand, but after a few times of use it was perfect. Alrighty, so my lashes are on, don't they look gorgeous? Now it's time for lips and I'll be using my Mirabella lipstick in Daydream. It's like a soft pink color. I've been really enjoying it. I'm, it's almost gone, like I've, um, I've almost used it all up so I ordered a new one. I could only find it on eBay because they don't carry it anymore but it's just such a beautiful soft pink color. This is the final look. I absolutely love this makeup. It's so sparkly, beautiful, it's just perfect for the holiday time. I hope that y'all give it a try. If you do, post a picture on my Instagram or on my Facebook. I would love to see it. And I'll see you guys really soon with more makeup tutorials. Take care, everyone. Babe, look, these are so comfy. And I like these, and I like those a lot. Like that. Yeah, those are tight. <laughs>